Uh, I feel great, you know, uh, getting a chance to play for the world champs and, you know, coming as a rookie, you know, just hopefully I can just learn from, you know, my veterans and, you know, work into the system. What's kind of your approach heading into summer league and all that? What are you, you going to try to do, try to distinguish yourself out there? Uh, just show my skills, you know, show you know, the Lakers with, uh, who they drafted and, uh, you know, just go out there and play my game, not, just, not try to do too much. And, you know, if I stick to what I do, I should be fine. Have you met with Mitch Kupchak yet? Yes, I met with him the day I came here. You know, he said he was glad that, that I was here and, you know, they felt that I can help the team, so that's why they drafted me. Do you think, how big of a long shot of making the team do you feel, or do you feel you have a good shot at making it? I feel I have a good shot, you know. Um, as coming down, I'm very confident. You know, I, I put in a lot of hard work. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how summer league goes. And then uh, once training camp starts, I feel that uh, you know, I'll be good enough to make the team. How closely did you watch the Lakers just as a spectator last, last season? Well, uh, yeah, a lot because they're on TV pretty much every night. So, you know, uh, I got to watch them a lot. Plus, uh, Ron, Tess, and Lamar, you know, guys I've looked up to and, you know, grew up around. and. So, you know, it was fun watching them play, too. Do you have any memories of the first time meeting them back in Queens? Yeah, uh, I met Lamar when I was about uh, nine years old. You know, my uncle was good friends with him and uh, growing up. And uh, Ron, he lives about six blocks away from me in the next complex, so I see him all the time. Since you got drafted, have you talked to them? I spoke to Lamar about two days ago. He said that, you know, he's happy he's here. He wanted to get together, probably get something to eat and, you know, just catch up. And you know, I'll probably see Ron when he gets back from vacation. Did Lamar like emphasize anything in particular as far as advice goes or anything? Like uh, not too much. Just right now, probably just catching up because I haven't seen them in a while. So just catching up right now. What would you say the strengths of your game are? Uh, scoring, rebounding, defensive. How do you think your skill set fits in with this Lakers team? Uh, I think it, uh, it fits in well. You know, I'm not a player that you know that needs the the, the ball to, to be effective. I can move without the ball. You know. Just basically do whatever the coach needs me to do. You know, I'm one of those type of players. One night I might I might not score good, but I play good defense, or I, I might be scoring good. So it, just, it doesn't really matter, really. Did you have any inkling at all that you might end up getting drafted by the Lakers? Uh, no, not at all. You know, uh, everybody had me in the first round, uh, and uh, me driving to the Lakers is. No, I felt that it was a good pickup for them, and uh, I'm glad to be here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. It was kind of bittersweet that you didn't go in the first round, but you still got the Lakers. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, you know, I obviously wanted to get drafted as high as I could, but uh, if I had to fall, why not to the champions? You think you can challenge for that uh, backup spot at the small forward? Yeah, I, I feel like I can. You know, like I said, it's my skill sets, and you know, like I said, it's all all boiled down to the training camp and uh, you know how well I produce there. Did you have a workout here prior to the draft? No, I haven't. The only time uh, that the Lakers seen me was in uh, a Minnesota group workout. When we had you on speakerphone the, the day of the draft, you talked a lot about wanting to learn from the veterans and stuff like that. What, what specifically do you want to take away from this first season in the NBA? Uh, basically, it's all, all the things that I really need to know offensively and defensively. You know, playing with the best player in the world and, uh, you know, players that that help him contribute, you know, contribute to the team as well. So uh, just learning from them guys and they're the champions, you know, two times in a row. So there's a whole lot of stuff I can learn from them. What about Phil Jackson? Uh, when you heard that he's coming back, he potentially get a chance to be coached by one of the all-time legends. Yeah, I was excited to hear that he was coming back. You know, uh, given that I do make the team, you know, uh, my first year being a, a, a coach who's won 11 championships is you know a great opportunity for me. What do you take away from your experience at West Virginia, being you know, it's in the Big East Conference, one of the tougher conferences in the country? I mean, how much that experience you think that'll help coming in? I think it helps a lot, you know, especially as going to the Final Four. You know, I've just learned how to play in big games. You know, in the NBA, you play in a lot of big games and uh, a lot of situations. It's different circumstances, of course, but, uh, you know, just you know, probably just taking away from big games and knowing what to do. In terms of things at this level, what do you think you need to improve? Uh, right now, I just need to uh, continue to improve on my, my jump shot, my three-point range, and my handle. Uh, you, um, Johnny West, right? So, player on West Virginia, right? Yeah, he was my teammate, Johnny uh, West. Have you got to know Ryan or, or Yeah, I, I met I met Ryan about uh two, three days ago and I think I'm about to have dinner with his family this weekend and you know just you know get to know them as well. Yeah, a little different. Yeah. You no, know, uh, I mean I'm from New York City so LA won't be a big uh transition for me, but uh yeah, it's very different from West Virginia.